Hello everybody and welcome to this short video on our latest post on the Smart Academics blog. My name is Gunther from Tress Academic and today I want to talk briefly about an experience we all hope we never make it, but we might. What if you have submitted a paper to an international peer review journal in the hopes of getting it published. But after a few weeks, the journal declines your paper, you got rejected. What are your options now? Will you ever get this paper published? Is this the end of your paper? No, it doesn't have to be. Quickly, I want to tell you the options that are still available to you. We suggest you follow our CASH approach. CASH simply stands for cool down, analyze the rejection letter, consider the options and then head on. So your paper is not dead, it's simply on hold or in your CASH waiting to be repurposed. The CASH approach includes four steps. Step number one means cool down. Do something else now to distract yourself and most importantly sleep on it one night. We've gotten rejection letters ourselves. We know it hurts. Step two means analyze the rejection letter that you got from the editor. Try to find out what the editor is really saying in this letter. Step three means consider your options. As I said, your paper is not that. You, you've got options now. You just will have to make a bunch of decisions. Basically, you need to answer some questions. And based on these decisions, on the questions, how you answer them, you'll have at least six options on how to proceed with your paper. The first decision, the first question you need to answer is, did you understand the editor's decision? The second one would be, do you consider the decision justifiable? The third one is, are you in a position to address the requested changes? And number four is, would you like to make the suggested revisions? So folks, the question on your paper is now, revise or not to revise it? And depending on how you decide, you have at least six options now. Option number one means you resubmit a revised manuscript to the same journal. Option number two is you submit a revised manuscript to another journal. Option three is you submit the unchanged manuscript to another journal. Option four is you publish your work with another outlet in a, in a book, on a website, a conference. Option five, you discard the paper. And option six, you appeal. So you heard now the three steps of our cash approach. Step number four simply means head on. Make a decision. Pick one of the options and work on your paper to get it published. Folks, even if your paper was rejected by the journal of your choice, this usually is not the end of the road for your paper. All you need to do is follow our cash approach and identify your best option. To help you with this, we created a free decision tree to make identifying the best option even easier for you. Just go on the Smart Academics blog, look for post number 42 and download the free decision tree. It is called My Options After Being Rejected. If you want to know the whole story, you want to know everything about the options you got in full detail, then go on the blog post and there you find everything described for you in full detail. I wish you good luck with your next paper. Cheers from Gunther.